We have finally made it over here to our destination. We are at Bass Pro Shops. And let me just tell you guys, I don't think I've ever been to a Bass Pro Shops before. So I'm excited to get in here and see what it's all about. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's kind of like Cabela's. I don't know. I've never been to Bass Pro Shops. So this is going to be pretty interesting. So today we are doing another budget challenge fishing video. This series has been highly requested. So in the comments below, let me know what other stories you guys would like to see me do this challenge in. So the game plan for today is to go into Bass Pro Shops with a budget of $50. That is definitely a bump up in price for my other budget fishing challenge videos. But with this upgraded budget, I'm hoping that I could get some better gear. I don't know. I have no clue what's in here so with my $50 budget today I have to buy a rod reel line lures everything I need in order for me to catch some fish today but it has to be under my $50 budget if you guys are enjoying this series make sure to hit me with a thumbs up I'm excited so let's get in here and see what we can find all right guys so we made it to the entrance of Bass Pro Shops now let's get in here and see what we can find so I have no clue where the fishing stuff is, but I definitely see the resemblance to Cabela's, but this store has like a different feel to it. Oh, there's the rod tips, there we go. Fishing stuff is this way. Oh wow, I'm really liking this setup here. They got this whole fishing center over here that's got all these type of reels in here. Yo guys, they have the giant nets here too. So with our newly upgraded budget, I've been finding a lot of stuff that actually uh, fits our budget. However, I got a comment in one of my older videos saying that I should try to get a rod and a reel separately and not get a combo. So I'm going to try that this time and see how it goes. That kind of sucks though because that means I have to pay for line as well. But I'm going to just see what I can find here. Yo, just imagine if I took this to a pond. This thing is like massive. Holy crap. Jeez, man. That's like the size of the bass I catch sometimes. All right, guys. $24.99. I think this is what I'm going to be going with. This is a Berkeley Cherry Rod. Six foot six, medium action. Um, I don't know. I think it's pretty good. So this is about half of our budget right here, and we still have to find a reel. So let's see if we can find something. This Shimano reel right here is 15 bucks. I don't know why it's so cheap, but it seems to be good. I mean, it's gonna fit our budget. I think this might be the one. I was also looking at this Bass Pro one right here and this Bass Pro one right here. They're both around 18 bucks, but I, I don't know. I'm leaning more towards this guy. So if we go with that reel and that rod, that leaves us with $10. And in that $10, we still need to buy wine and everything else. So hopefully we can find some stuff. Guys, this seems to be a pretty good deal. They're $6.29 and you get all these different worms and you get hooks and beads. If I didn't use worms so much in my videos, I would probably end up getting this. I mean, maybe I'll get it. I'm not sure yet, but I've been using worms a lot. So... We'll see here. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go with that Shimano reel. I mean, it's only $15. Hopefully, it's not too bad, but now I have to find some wine. This is the first budget challenge where I did not buy a combo, and the line came with all the combos, so I actually have to purchase some wine this time. Hopefully, we can get something good for cheap. All right, all these brands of wine are super expensive. So I'm gonna have to go with some Bass Pro Shops, 20 tub monofilament here. I think I'm gonna go with this 10 pounds right here. That should be good. All right, here we are, it's Shimano iHex reel. 15 bucks, I hope it's not too bad. So you guys know how I failed last challenge using a chatterbait. Well, this time I'm gonna make it a little interesting, see if I can get my chatterbait revenge. I'm going to go with a little micro chatterbait here. $2.69, one eighth ounce micro chatterbait. This should be interesting. All right guys, so I believe I have $3.32 left. I think what I wanna spend it on here is this $3.19 XTS vibrator. It's basically just like a little lipless crankbait from Bass Pro Shops. And yeah, man, that should pretty much put us directly at our budget for the day. All right guys, so let me go over what we're gonna get here today. So we're going with the $25.66 .6 medium action Berkeley Cherry Rod, the $15 Shimano IX, Bass Pro Shops monofilament, micro chatterbait, lipless crankbait. Let's go see if we're under budget. All right, guys, as you can see, $52.84. There was $2.99 tax. It was $49.85, directly under budget before tax. We're not in Delaware anymore. All right, really quickly, I just set it up because I wanted to take the thumbnail, but I'm actually feeling this rod and reel. It actually feels like a normal rod and reel, which is a little unusual for these challenges. Bass Pro Shops is so awesome. It is kind of like Cabela's. I can see where the similarities are, but they just had so much stuff. They definitely have more fishing supplies than my local Cabela's does. I really wish one of these Bass Pro Shops was closer to my house because I feel like this is definitely where I would come to get all my fishing gear. This place was just so awesome. I would definitely come back here again. Not only was there so much stuff, but it was just so big and so spread out that it took me a good amount of time to actually find what I wanted and what I needed no lie i was probably in that store for like two hours but i'm not gonna lie i enjoyed it now that i got the rod and reel you guys know how this works i'm actually gonna head to a brand new pond that i've never fished at and hopefully i can catch some fish on this new setup so let's see what we can do here hey do you know where the ponds are here uh boy they're all the way down the other side of the uh all right. Road over there. All right. Thank you. Yeah, sure. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are out here at this golf course. I've actually never been here, but people have been telling me that there's some pretty good fishing over here. The only problem is that this is a very large golf course. Where the heck are these things at, man? I've been walking for a while. All right, guys. I think I found one of the ponds here, but the only problem is that like 
I'm on the golf course right now. I could get nailed by a freaking golf ball, so I'm not exactly sure where to stand here. I feel like if golfers see me, they're gonna aim directly for me. I know there's a couple ponds here, so I'm gonna start with this one. And I think over in the distance, I see a little glare of water over that way. So, uh, looks like I got a few ponds here to try out. I'm actually really excited. I've never fished at a golf course pond. I'm also excited to see if this combo does any good here. So let's get rigged up. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna start off with this little XTS bait. I do understand that this is not ideal to be throwing this on this setup, but guys, that's why it's a challenge. I'm really hoping that we're gonna get on some fish today. Let's see, first cast the Bass Pro setup. Dude, that felt buttery. All right, so I think I just heard some thunder. You can see the clouds are starting to actually form over there. Nah, not yet. Any bites? Sorry. Oh, no I'm not in your way? No, All right, thank you. All right, I'm gonna try to find the other pond here. This pond is just, uh, let me down a little bit. I don't know, man. All right, guys, so the plan today was to catch some fish. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is not very safe to be out here, especially with my lightning rods, though. So we're gonna pick up tomorrow right where we left off and try to get on some fish. Well, good thing I left when I did. All right, guys, it is the next day, and this pond is looking so good right now. So today I decided to come to a different pond because I didn't get any bites at that golf course, and I was kind of scared of the golf balls. Oh, my God, right in front of me, I just saw a blow up. All right, I'm going to be throwing this guy out first. Uh-oh. Getting snagged on the first cast. Yes! Not again. All right, buddy, that's twice now. You're getting a little reckless. All right, I'm switching over to the micro chatterbait, but as you guys can see, I did put a trailer on it. I used a little piece of a crawl. So if that counts as cheating, like whatever, man. Oh, I had a bite, dang it, how did I miss him? There goes the chatterbait. Okay, well this pond is currently dusty. Oh, it's a crime scene? Yeah, this side of the park is closed right now. Sorry about that. All right, thanks, man. All right, well, the place that I was going to go is apparently closed. All right, guys, so this is where I wound up. This is definitely not where I expected to be. Whoa. All right, how muddy is this mud? Oh, yep, can't step on that. Oh, there's, oh, he had it. Oh my God, what was that? Not a fish, guys. There's one. Ooh, it's, yeah. Ooh. It's a nice one. Oh, man. Dude, this guy is strong. Oh, let me bring him up here. Let's go. That is the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught out of this creek right here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Finally. You guys can see how he inhaled that Z-Man chatterbait. All right, this fish right here, guys, made this whole challenge worth it. Oh, my gosh. That is such a nice smallmouth. Definitely the biggest I've ever caught out of this creek. On the Z-Man chatterbait, I cannot get too close to the water, so I'm just going to give this guy a nice little toss. All right, there he went. He swam right off. Thank you for biting, buddy. That just made my day. <laughs> And there's nothing like a solid creek smallmouth. There you guys go. That's what I caught him on right here. Z-Man chatterbait with a little paddle tail trailer. Guys, things might not have been going our way for this challenge. We got rained out yesterday. We got skunked today. I lost my micro chatterbait today. But when you catch a nice smallmouth like that, it's just awesome. So I'm gonna switch to this little bait that I got at Bass Pro. Oh, there's a fish. Oh my God, dude, on the, yo, finally, what the heck just happened? All right, guys, I'm literally counting this on the bait from Bass Pro Shops. I do not know how I managed to actually snag this guy. There we go. The crazy part is this guy had all three treble hooks in his side. He's gonna be all right. This is the second fish of the day, another nice little smallmouth. All right, go back and heal up, man. I'm sorry. I did not mean to spear you. I'm guessing he just kind of came up and swiped at it and it landed in his back. I don't know, I'm gonna count that though. This guy is officially being retired today. He did good, I mean, kind of he didn't break off so yeah well guys i guess you could say we caught fish on both of the lures that we got from bass pro shops i mean we did catch a fish on a chatterbait it might not be the same exact chatterbait that we got at bass pro shops because that one is currently at the bottom of a pond i mean we kind of just got a fish on the lipless crankbait all right guys looks like it's time for the secret weapon here the ned rig oh there's one 
Let's go. Ned Ray coming through. What do we have here? Our second species of the day. Let me move over here into some better lighting. There we go, guys. A nice little rock bass on the Ned Rig. Ned Rig is on fire. Let's get some more. By the way, if you guys want more details on how I rig up my Ned Rig, go watch my bottle cap fishing lure challenge. I went into detail in that video about my Ned Rig. Here's a fish on the Ned Rig yet again. What do we have here? What do we have here? Another solid little rock bass. Oh, oh, this guy is not happy. Well, there he is. Nice looking fish. Back he goes. Ned rig fire. Not my Ned rig. All right, well, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I've broken off so many times today that I literally have like no line left on my spool. Like even the shortest of casts pretty much spools me. Like, look at that. There's literally nothing on it. So let's see if we can get your fish like this. Oh, there's a fish right there. Came right at my feet. What do we have here? On the spinner, he inhaled this little thing. A little red breast sunfish on the rooster tail. I'm gonna let him go. He spined the crap out of me, dude. Oh, there's another one. What do we have here? What do we have? Oh, all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and release this giant right here. He also hit on this little rooster tail here. And yes, I still have like zero line on my spool. I'm gonna call it a day. This has definitely been one of the most interesting budget fishing challenge videos we've done on the channel. Let's go over a little recap of what happened here. First, I drive about an hour and a half to Bass Pro Shop. That was yesterday. After about two hours in Bass Pro Shops, we headed over to the pond. That was the golf course pond. I barely had any fishing time at all by the time I figured out which pond to fish at because these crazy evil clouds started rolling in and lightning was just everywhere. And there were two other guys at this pond. And after a few lightning bolts, I was like, all right, it's definitely time to go because i had a decent walk to my car and as i was leaving i looked back and those guys are just fishing like they don't have a care in the world i was just like bro and then today comes around i thought i was going to be slaying them today so i drove 40 minutes to the first pond today you see how that turned out i lost my chatter bait i didn't get any bites there after that i figured i'd go to this creek where i was pretty sure i could get on some smallmouth and then a park ranger comes up to me telling me that the creek is closed i was like what do you like what do you mean the park ranger tells me that it is now part of a crime scene and i guess some crime was committed over there so then he suggested that i come over here and i typed it into google maps but they did not take me here it was pretty hard to find the spot but eventually I found it and yeah man we ended up catching some fish here so overall opinion on the rod and reel it didn't feel like an expensive reel it didn't feel like a cheap reel it just felt like a solid reel the one interesting part about the reel is that the drag is actually down here getting into this Berkeley Cherrywood HD rod I was actually very surprised with this it is actually a pretty decent rod I'm definitely gonna be using it a lot overall thoughts on this combo is that it is so much better than any of the other combos that I got for my other budget fishing challenges I mean there's a reason for that those were a lot cheaper I would give this combo a big thumbs up I did end up catching a bass on a chatterbait to substitute the chatterbait that I lost in the pond earlier. I also caught a bass on the lipless crankbait. I mean, kind of caught the bass. But yeah, overall, we caught some fish and we did have some fun today. I was getting a little annoyed because I broke off at least a million times in the past two days. Other than that, I really can't complain. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough for all your support. We are quickly closing in on 20,000 subscribers. Like, that is ridiculous. You guys are awesome. Let's keep it rolling, man. This is great. As you guys know, I'm trying to hustle. I'm trying to put all my time and effort into making videos for you guys. And yeah, guys, I can just not thank you enough for the support. You guys are literally so awesome. So you guys know how a lot of other YouTubers have a name for their family like logan paul has the low game people have like blank nation blank army you know stuff like that i need you guys to help me figure out a name for our family something that i could call you guys that kind of sums up the whole first date fishing family so definitely leave your suggestions in the comments below i will definitely be reading those and yeah man i gotta go get some food i am so hungry right now again i appreciate all the support let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this and thank you guys for watching i'll see you next video